Hepburn here, mm -hmm. Silas and Avi, mm -hmm. and um, they go to the high school in Corvallis. And then we have Andy, who is here with us, and he is in communication with Bridge of Hope. Oh, so and nice. so uh, then Alex is Max and Don's grandson, okay. and he goes to OSU, uh, Oregon State University in Corvallis. Yes, yeah, it So, and Dan, my husband, mm -hmm. and Max and Don. Oh, that's yes. That's and Max and Don were the first group to come here and set up our sister city organization. That's the great. Yes. Oh, so that's a good family. Uh, actually, we have started our uh, relationship since 2006. Yes. The sister city. Yes. I th I'm sure a lot of things have been going on on that time. Uh, I came here uh, eight months ago. Mm -hmm. I'm a new one here. Uh, Dr. Mulukan. Molokan? Yeah, Mayor. Yes. Molokan. Yes. He's promoted to the region, uh, region level. Right. So now he has got one office. It is a culture and tourism office on regional level. Okay. So we are expecting a new mayor here. I'm a deputy mayor. Yes. Uh, those of you who don't know me, I'm Berlin Kassel. So uh, I'm happy you are here. We are happy to be here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very I'm good. Really happy you are here. Uh, so we will discuss some uh, issues regarding your stay here. Uh, of course, I will base on your schedule. Yes, yeah. we have a busy schedule. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. um, and I don't know if you want to. Okay. Yeah. And thank you, Uncle Benjamin, uh, for having us here okay. and the group. Uh, I'm Elsa from Ethiopia, regional uh, manager, and uh, the manager here, the project manager, and we are working with Corvallis Sister City for long now. Uh, and uh, we have a partnership how with. How many years? Uh, I Did think. You say it again? I want to <laughs> almost uh, how many? Six years now? Six oh, years. Yeah, almost six years. From the time Dan and Magazine came From the first. Six to nine. Six to nine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. And now we are working together and. Uh, as you know all, we have established an ICT room in, in Tzadik Oihuanes, and we are, it's now running, and they were happy to visit that today, yes. and it's a little bit even improving from the previous one, because some of the Ethiopians also working on that, so it makes it to expand a bit more, and it was great success for us to see that all thing is. In addition, we also visit, we visit also the kindergarten, we have built a toilet for the kindergarten level uh, with Corvallis and Link Ethiopia together and in Tzadik, in Tzadik, yeah. And now, this time, we have built already two classrooms for kindergarten, not only Corvallis, but also U.S. Embassy, Corvallis and Link Ethiopia implementing that project. And uh, we are now here for the inauguration and to spend one week with the school. So we are not just building the classroom, we have all also uh, furnished all the furnitures in the classroom, plus to that they are bringing more uh, resources for the school also. It's just building the classroom is not uh, enough. So we are just supporting the teachers in teacher training as well as furnishing the classroom. So our plan is to work with the school for a week from the coming Monday till Thursday. So our plan is to make the inauguration on Wednesday, but it depends on the situation. Anyway, uh, because of some situations, we just may rearrange some activities because we have already uh, a project in Tzadik Johannes, so we can work out on that by discussing today. And we can do at least one or two day in Wallage, Secondary, in, in Wallage Primary School for visiting the school as well as uh, providing the donation. So thank you for letting me say this thing. Thank you. So long since we acquainted each other, particularly Maxine and uh, Dr. Dan, 
uh, because, you know, when I was appointed as the sister cities coordinator in 2011, I think, so these guys were the first whom I met and they, you know, trained me, I can't say, on how to work with uh, external relationship issues and, you know, on how to treat uh, people from different parts of the world. So it was the first, you know, for me to get a great lesson in that regard. And beyond in that, you know, you know, taking the corvallis gondar sister cities relationship at the springboard, uh, the city of Gondor tried to develop uh, different uh, partnerships like uh, a sister city relationship with Israel, um, America, Maryland, uh, France, Vences. So this city is second to Addis in establishing sister cities network all over the world and we are trying to do our best in making another uh, uh, partnership in Europe particularly in German. So I can't say because, you know, uh, whenever we deal about sister cities relationship, Corvallis is a lot for us. You know, they have different programs, even in Corvallis. I do have, you know, a keen follow-up on their website. So there is a work for water program, and they regularly prepare a dinner for raising funds to help the Gondor children. The idea of making a model school, particularly in you know, implementing in Tsariku, is the idea of these guys. So our city is benefiting from this partnership. Uh, for your information, today, Rovel, my friend, Rovel Tadasa, uh, had a discussion with me. We had a telephone converse, conversation this morning. And he is, you know, he is, you know, attentively following what you are doing in the city. So there were groups, there were friends, you know, uh, Rolly Baxter and uh, Dr. Badege Bishaw, the environment group, you remember. So uh, actually, uh, you know, uh, I have had worked with different mayors, I don't know, because as a professional, I had the exposure to work with four or five mayors, but still I'm working uh, with this department, so I'm happy uh, to see you again in, in, in your home city. You know, Gondar, uh, you can, especially you youngsters can learn from Dr. Dan and Maxine, you know, how these people uh, is very friendly, and this is your home. So you should feel proud for that and we simultaneously do proud for your activities do feel proud rather so um, it is a good a good time for me to see you again and uh, hopefully we will do again good good things and we'll try we'll achieve better so uh, you'll have a very successful stay in gondor and uh, i think the local media will work hard you know, this is, as I told you, this is, you know, uh, uh, the city and Corvallis do have a strong partnership for the last 13 years. Therefore, you know, you can refer, you know, a lot of things have been done, particularly, you know, uh, in, 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 in bringing materials, in supporting the educational system, and, you know, in soccer uh, clubs, in strengthening soccer clubs, in coordinating people who are living abroad, particularly uh, the diaspora community who are from uh, uh, Gondar in origin. So, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's very difficult for me at this time to indicate or to, to, to mention the support obtained from Corvallis. So thanks to, you know, the senior uh, experts and, uh, you know, educators, for making us to become, you know, to have a good experience in establishing a sustainable relationship all over the empire, all over the globe, rather. So hopefully you have to broadcast this and give a news to our community what Corvallis, what even this specific delegation is doing. So you should have a uh, keen follow-up within the next uh, five or six days, I don't know. So you have to tell, 
you know, uh, updated information to our community. And thank you for coming today, even at this time. So it is good, uh, you know, to work with these guys, and hopefully we will have, uh, we will implement uh, successful issues, and we'll let you know uh, the progress at the end of uh, the meeting. And uh, uh, I hope. Uh, much of my time in this week will be, you know, devoted. Will be devoted for this group. If there is anything which I could, which I could, you know, uh, help or which I could do, so we can work together with Elsa. Uh, and half, I'm happy to see you again. Thank you. I would like to end at the school where um, these two women work and where um, Ruby goes to school. They have a bulletin board and they are learning that. We had, uh, we shared food with them in Jira and uh, um, lentils. <laughs> and we have seen a lot of pictures and done a lot of drawings and read some books about Gandhar. And so it goes both ways and we are learning about um, our sister city there also. And our, oh, local, our local press puts out yes. lots of articles also about Ethiopia and especially about Gondar. Oh, right. Great. And then we have a um, Taste of Gondar, or Taste of Ethiopia dinner once a year. Mm -hmm. And so we provide a big dinner and then some education on what Gondar is like. And, and walk for water. And walk for water. So, oh. yes. That's great. That's great. This is actually the idea of... You know, the very motive of the sister city relationship is a people to people relationship, yes. enhancing uh, friendship culture, and uh, recognizing the culture, the practices, the bar system, and so on. So that's true. If you know, uh, we we thought that you know we have got great life experiences on how to improve. As I told you this morning, while we had a discussion with you, Your Excellency Deputy Mayor, Engineer uh, Barun, uh, it is you know the city got the first water detection machine from Corvallis. There is no city except Nazareth in Ethiopia that have this machine. So it is a valuable support which this city got for the last 13, 14 years from Corvallis. So it has to be recognized. Even you yourself have to uh, uh, report what has been done so far by the help of this uh, group. So really, you're right. Mm. Uh, from yeah, people to people relationship and exchanging best practices and yeah. values and so on matters a lot. So that's great. Yeah, thank you so much tree kind of works as a whole and how there's really no judgment because over in the United States there's a huge effect of social media on the population like Snapchat and Instagram and uh, everybody's kind of brought together in means of making fun of other people in a way I like most of the posts are about that but here it's kind of everybody's brought together and helping each other and I don't know I just thought that was pretty cool and seeing everybody working as a community I like that um, children are playing and with their parents and with their friends and stuff and going to school and so that's like one of my observations is you think it's going to be different or really like but it's really not that different. Um, what they're doing to provide basic needs for kids so then they can learn and that was a really awesome awesome experience for me. All right, thank you. Afraid to like be themselves because I was noticing over at the school, like over in the U.S., if you do something weird, I remember doing soccer celebrations with them, like the Ronaldo one. He jumps up and goes, Shh. "If you did that at our school, everybody would think you're really weird." But nobody really, <laughs> nobody really thinks that, and everybody's just totally willing to express exactly who they are without any judgment being put on them. Important as boys um, and uh, giving support to teachers and um, just knowing that the better educated your people are you know the better the whole country becomes and stronger and just and also the building of relationships between the schools and and the country is just really great to see all just like oh like we have to go to school it sucks it's so bad 
but like here like they think it's the education's like so important to them and they like get to go to school when we just like we don't want to go yeah we take it for granted and stuff like that so the people here like they actually get to like learn and it's like a privilege for them when we just we don't want to do that and we just think it's horrible well that's exaggerated but like I think we understand the importance of education but still we're all like meh when they're like very yeah so yeah. Really, yeah. Yeah. Because uh, many people are displacing from rural areas to this urban area, and as you may know, Gonda is uh, central city for these resources. There's uh, North Gonda, uh, South Gonda, and Central Gonda, which formerly uh, named as North Gonda in general. Uh, it's a huge area. Actually, uh, here we do have different crops, especially uh, if we go to the, to the coast. Uh, different agricultural products are produced here. Yeah, so the population is so much dense here, especially on the city. It's as as as, as I've, I've told you, it's around eight hundred thousand right now. Yeah, and uh, since the rate of population increasement is so much high. Uh, we are just striving to deliver special water. Yes. Our main problem is here water. Yes. Yeah. And the other one is education. Mm -hmm. uh, and we are planning to have a five-year plan to just transform the schools. <coughs> yeah, to transform the schools. And uh, we are planning uh, to build a huge project to permanently solve our uh, water shortage. Yeah, a portable water, water shortage. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a dam which we call Magach Dam. Mm -hmm. It is, uh, I think, 15 kilometers from here, right? 15 kilometers from here. Uh, it will be completed with this here. Once we complete the uh, dam. You're building, building the dam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once we uh, build the dam, the, the next step will be just uh, just building those treatment plants for the water. Mm -hmm. This uh, dam will produce us around uh, 185 million meter cube water per year. Among this, uh, we are allowed just to use 30% of uh, the water, which will be 55 million meter cube. And in our uh, standard, that will be sufficient for the city. So we are planning just to solve the water problem within a short period of time, and we are focusing uh, on this project. Wow. Yeah. So what has happened with the Angarab uh, <coughs> uh, uh, Reservoir? Yeah, uh, Angarab, yeah. Yeah, yeah Angarab uh, uh, it has been uh, producing water for the last 25 years. Yeah. So now uh, the silt is very high. Uh, and we are not producing as much water as, ex as we expect from the dam. Mm -hmm. It is uh, really decreasing, especially on the winter time. Uh, February and March, the water will just fall down. The amount of water producing on that dam is so much low. So we are just uh, focusing on a another alternative. Actually, we don't leave Angara, so rather. We are just trying to keep uh, the upstream uh, so that we can uh, uh, minimize the sediment. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, sedimentation. So if I understand you right, the Angra Reservoir is really not going to be your main source of water? Right now it is. It is now? It, yeah, it is now. Yeah, but within uh, you know, a few years, uh, we are expecting our Angara will not be our main source. Yeah, because yeah. it will be full of the rest of it, right? Yeah, 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 because it's high. So I have a few points in this regard. You know, uh, uh, friends from uh, our partners from the class have tried their best to, you know, to minimize the effect of the silt on Angara Dam. Uh, you know, it was implemented in establishing the Sabia Sana watershed management. You know, uh, there is a 
a nursery, you know, a Corvallis Gondor Sister City's nursery uh, from which uh, people could get uh, uh, seedlings, different kinds of seedlings. So uh, farmers, you know, uh, had the opportunity to take uh, seedlings freely. So this was, you know, uh, even as far as my previous information is concerned, there was a budget yearly allocated from uh, the Corvallis uh, Gondor Sister Cities Association. So it, it, it was, you know, an immense uh, contribution for controlling the erosion around that area. You know, whenever you go, you know, higher, uh, uh, you know, exceeding your journey towards, um, well, like, uh, what is that uh, small... Shembakit, yeah, 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 Shembakit. So there is, you know, there is, there is a watershed. Uh, the Sapia Sina watershed is the, 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 the uh, highest uh, exposed area for, uh, you know, uh, flooding and so on. So uh, they have tried uh, their best in reducing that. Uh, even there was a program uh, of, you know, the watershed uh, people. Uh, I saw a kind of information on on the website that people were, you know, uh, you know, who, who who had, you know, a great contribution in that regard, or who have exercised a lot, uh, were to be graduated. Uh, I don't know when the time. Uh huh. Yeah, and that's yeah, that's great. You know what? I, what I want to underline in that regard is that you know uh, the siltation problem of the dam was uh, the headache of this group too, the headache of our sister cities uh, partners from Go Corvallis. So they have tried a lot uh, to minimize and to help the city community to have. Uh, sufficient water. But by the way, even though we are in a very difficult uh, situation, we are in a very challenging environment, uh, still 60% of the water for the city community is obtained from uh, that dam. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you so much. You know, as I have tried to, you know, explain it, uh, uh, as I have tried to explain it earlier, you know, uh, the Corvallis Gondor Sister, uh, Sister Cities Association played an important role and showed us or gave us a great lesson on how to establish other partnerships. You know, uh, when, we, when we compare the Corvallis Gondor Sister Cities with the uh, Montgomery County Gondor Sister Cities, you know, the Montgomery County is the younger one, which was signed and established in 2012. Six years younger than, yeah, yeah, <laughs> than, than years. Uh, but, you know, uh, you know taking, taking good experiences from Corvallis Gondor Sister City's relationship, we told them on how to proceed with our uh, partnership and on how to make it sustainable. Uh, fortunately enough, I had the opportunity to go to Montgomery County twice. Uh, I was uh, in, G in March and May 2018, I was there. And again, this September, I was in Montgomery County. So, you know, they are following your footsteps. I can say that. Uh, even the way of arrangement was not like yours. But there was a, a discussion last time. They asked me how uh, was the Corvallis group doing with you? What are the best experiences? And I told them that, you know, in Montgomery County, there is one coordinating uh, uh, committee. But it's not divided in, two in, uh, in terms of specialization like yours, or the water group, education group, environment, and so on. So we told them, you know, uh, we told them to invite different professionals and let them to serve or uh, uh, make a kind of contribution in their respective fields. So uh, 
they are uh, you know doing in that way you know last uh, uh, two days ago when was uh, october 22nd they had uh, a great meeting and one of the issues they mentioned was on how to implement the experience from corvallis which i told them uh, so um, actually they are uh, they are doing good in supporting our schools uh, you know, uh, for twice they, they they donated us 40 computers for three schools, and uh, there is uh, you know a clinic which is uh, supported by Montgomery uh, Sister City uh, Committee, and you know uh, they are also trying to uh, enhance the. Uh, uh, tourism potential of the city, and they are working on promoting in that regard. So, uh, but you know, the school is the Corvallis uh, Gondar Sister Cities Association. Uh, now they are already started to register people uh, who uh, who are you know preparing themselves to come and join us on next uh, at January. Already 35 people I uh, have seen from my my email that already 35 uh, delegates have uh, given confirmation uh, to come to Gondar. So. 35, 35, so we expect more than that, up to 75. The county executive, uh, uh, the county executive promised us to send about 75 delegates on next January. So uh, in that regard, uh, we are doing good with them. And even, you know, uh, taking uh, Montgomery County as a, base, as a starting uh, place, uh, there is a plan to expand uh, uh, different sister city relationships in Seattle, where many, many Ethiopians are living, uh, particularly uh, 60 to 65 percent of them uh, are, you know, uh, assumed to be from Gondar originally. So that's that's uh, a good uh, a, a good uh, situation for us uh, to strengthen similar sister city partnerships all over the U.S., like uh, in Denver, uh, Dallas, and so on. So uh, they are doing good in that regard. So uh, uh, yeah, but you know. What matters is that still uh, there is there is a limitation, you know, you know, in inviting and you know uh, organizing people in terms of uh, profession, in terms of uh, work experience, and so on. Yeah. So, but they are thinking of that, and they are working to rearrange in that fashion. Mm. From America Best Charity called Open Earth's Big Dream. So we are planning now to build a library in Hebrat School. We have already informed Dr. Mulugan uh, before you. Uh, we have already informed him. And now we get a secure defend to uh, make a standard uh, library. So they are not just supporting, but they are also bringing more uh, supporters to the city. So I would like to thank you very much on behalf of Gondar as well and Link Ethiopia as an education expert. <laughs> In um, the business of building relationships right now um, and um, strengthening our country with other countries. So um, my father had taught me to not just complain about that, but to be part of the change. Mm -hmm. And so I'm brand new to Corvallis Sister Cities. Like first, this is my first experience with them. Um, I'm very grateful to be part of it. And when you support um, associations like Corvallis Sister Cities, it, it builds the relationships and it, it makes more people aware um, in the U.S. as well and obviously other countries to be part of that and to want to help and to build more relationships and more programs to help other countries because there are a lot of us that want to build those relationships and strengthen. Um, uh, and then, you know, people like me that hear about it and want to get involved, you know, and I brought my two kids, you know, then the next generations get involved and then it grows and it grows and it gets bigger and more things get done, more education, you know, more, you know, clean water. And so I wanted to thank you too for, for supporting you know, associ associations like this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.